fault. It's pretty heavy. from the foundation stone through the greenhouse ends near a swamp. I ought to check the place out. I don't really want to roam around the woods until I've been to all the other places on my map. A line from the Mania to the gateway ends in the middle of the woods. <sighs> it's going to be fun trying to find the right place. And I think the way to the crossroads in the woods does lead in the right direction. One of the portals was here. It's been buried in the meantime, but there was one here. Perhaps that's what Victoria meant when she said entrance. I'll mark the ruins on my map. The constable's convertible, <laughs> equipped with regulation light and repair kit. I'm sure Zack won't mind if I borrow his repair kit. Finished. The bottle is now full of water, but I wouldn't drink it. Hmm. Now that I live in the castle, I don't actually have to see Murray again. But I've still got the hotel key, and I'd love to rub the old crook's nose in it in person. Hello, Murray. It's always a pleasure to see you, Mr. Gordon. Mr. Gordon? Ha! Huh. So the fact that I'm the last descendant of the famous noble family hasn't escaped you. Indeed. The whole village is talking of nothing else. So you will also be aware that not only does the name belong to me, but also the entire Blackmere estate. My warmest congratulations on your wonderful inheritance. And, naturally, my sincere condolences for the loss of your... your dear grandmother. Great grandmother. And you can keep your dumb pleasantries for your tourists, the last who come and stay with you. In fact, I'm thinking of turning the castle into a hotel. A veritable Gordon's Palace. Everything here you've stolen, even the name! I could sue you for that, Murray. Is that clear? And I think I might just do that. I admit, Mr. Gordon, we may have had some little differences of opinion. But you won't forget, will you, that I have always helped you. It was I who got you out of jail 
And it is also me you have to thank that you didn't freeze to death in the woods. As you were lying there, unconscious, I sent Phil to you and got him to bring you to the hotel. As a man of honor, are you going to repay that with a petty legal dispute? Your so-called willingness to help is nothing more than a cynical maneuver. Someone has to put a stop to your game once and for all. Don't forget the photos from your cupboard that clearly prove you've been using blackmail to supplement your pocket money. You'd be finished if I made that public. Mr. Gordon, I, I appeal to our friendship. Friendship? <laughs> You're nothing but a miserable parasite that gorges itself on the blood of its host. I've been your host for too long. Not anymore. I'll make sure you won't find another poor sap you can bleed dry. I'll become your parasite. How long do you think you can hold out against me? You worm. Huh? And I'll look on you as you're destroyed and take delight in your pain. And one day you'll also wake up in a cellar next to dead bodies. If you wake up at all. Have a nice life. I showed him. He will take care not to spoil my plans again. <laughs> How easy it is. Just exert a little pressure, and the whole world buckles before you. <laughs> to whom could I next teach the meaning of fear? <laughs> Tom? Or maybe the tattooed fellow inmate? Or the amusing old wretch who always runs away when she sees me? <laughs> These annoyances must be eliminated right away. I wonder why I haven't asserted myself before. To live by pure hatred. Holy crap! That doesn't sound like me at all. More like what Victoria said about Mordred when he started to change. He didn't trust anyone and became more and more hostile. Damn. I've really got to pull myself together. According to my map, one of the portals could be down there. What's Bobby doing there? Hey, Bobby, what are you doing there? Hello, D -D Darren. <laughs> it's D -D -D Denise's birthday today, <laughs> but uh, I haven't g got a present. And you want to catch her a fish? <laughs> no, no, no. I want to collect some mussels with pearls in them. I want to make a pretty pearl necklace for the Denise. Yeah. I see. Look, Bobby. Wouldn't that make a lovely present for Denise? Oh, it's p p beautiful. You can have it. Thanks, Darren. <laughs> You're not allowed to swim in there. This is something like a missing poster. Two boys disappeared here after taking a swim. It's suspected that they drowned, but their bodies were never found.
There are four Meneas in the river. That could be a pointer to the portal. I can't get any closer. Not exactly the bridge of trust. Oh great, I bet the portal's in the middle of the river. Those are the waders that Bobby had on. With a huge hole in them. Huh. Bobby must have ripped them when he rushed to take them off. Father. Thanks for the help. May the Lord be with you. These European churches really are impressive buildings. America was probably still India in the minds of a few sailors when this one was built. That would save me a lot of running around, but my driver's license is still at the police station. That's why it really wouldn't be such a great idea to cruise around Willow Creek in a stolen car. The tank's empty. That seals the car's fate, then. There's a dent in the hood. My head could have done that. I'll pay Phil a social visit. He's been locked up down there for three days now. Whoa, jeez! dead. I can't tell how he died. Maybe it's my fault. 
Anyway, I locked him up and maybe he died from extreme hunger and thirst. But wait a second, I locked the cellar door when I left and it was open when I came back. Someone must have been here in the meantime. Kitchen towels, best quality. Surprise, surprise, still unused. Medical you see in hospitals. Oh, and pathology labs. Most of them are rusted and unusable. Files. Or to be more exact, medical records. How have they got lost in here? James Gordon. He was a patient in the old sanatorium. So are the medical records from there? There are death certificates in here. Quite a few. Issued by Dr. Heinz Herman for James Gordon. And for different causes of death. Heart attack, suicide, all undated. Ralph Thompson, date of birth, March 3rd, 1960. Diagnosis, delusional schizophrenia, therapy-resistant depression with suicidal tendency. Medication level four, combination shock therapy, electroconvulsive shock therapy, and insulin shock therapy. Poor Ralph, no wonder he's crazy. And here's Ralph's death certificate, issued by Dr. Herman. Death from neck dislocation following self-strangulation. And it's dated September 1st, 1981. So Ralph's death had already been planned. Oh, the bastards. If they hadn't gone out of business in August 81, Ralph would be dead now. Incredible. Otherwise, pretty uninteresting. None of these people mean anything to me.